11. Two prominent rabbis have drowned at a South Florida beach. An off-duty police officer managed to save a third. CBS 4's Aurelia Ortega joins us live from Mount Sinai Medical Center where the survivors are being treated. Aurelia? Bay, that man was brought here in stable condition and is expected to be okay, but unfortunately his two friends did not make it. And tonight, uh, the Jewish community in New York is mourning the loss of these two popular rabbis. Two patriarchs of ultra-Orthodox Judaism in New York now gone after a day on the water at Hollover Beach turns tragic. This yeah. is such a sad event and it yeah. was so sudden. Um, you know, there was a riptide and some made it back to shore and some didn't. The pair identified as 67-year-old Rabbi Yitznak Rosenberg and 66-year-old Rabbi Chaim Parnas were at the beach with three other friends when they got caught in a rip current, according to Miami-Dade police. They got three victims. One of them, we did uh, CPR. We start CPR right away. Ball Harbor police tweeted out this picture of one of its officers who was off duty who jumped in the water to help. Rosenberg and Parnas were rushed to Aventura Hospital where they were pronounced dead. News of their passing quickly spread throughout the Jewish community. The uh, people involved were really holy people and should die so suddenly is shocking to everybody. Those who knew the men tell us they're New York natives who visit South Florida often. Rabbi Parnas was in the news last year when he was robbed at gunpoint by three men in North Miami. Miami-Dade police are investigating the drowning, which is standard procedure. Meantime, members are doing all they can to make sure to get the victims back to New York to be buried within 24 hours per Jewish tradition. And we're very concerned, just as everybody is. We have thousands of, of people that rely on, on these, these individuals. One thing that's certain is that thousands are expected to attend the funeral for two men who are considered giants in the Jewish community. The crowds are going to be horrendous. The friends and the families that he, that he had and generated in all these times uh, are just going to be unbelievable. And a source tells us that the victims' bodies were transported from Aventura Hospital to the medical examiner's office and that they are expected to release the bodies to the family sometime tomorrow morning, at which point a private jet will fly them to New York for a funeral. Reporting live in Miami Beach, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News Tonight.